If you're going to work in science, you have to use the scientific measurement system. Here is an introduction. The SI system is the International System of Units. Here we see it in French, from which the abbreviation SI comes. The SI system has nine fundamental units of measure. The meter for length, the kilogram for mass, second for duration and time, ampere for electrical current, kelvin, degrees of temperature, mole, relates atoms or molecules to mass, candela is a intensity of illumination, radian is an arc of a circle whose length equals the radius, and a ceradian, which is a spherical measure similar to the radian. In this video, there are five of these that we won't need. The ampere, kelvin, mole, candela, and ceradian. Which leaves us with only meter, kilogram, second, and radian. Now there are also a number of derived units of measure, four of which are hugely important to this video. The first of these is a newton, which is a unit of force. A newton is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared, or a newton is equal to a kilogram meter times second to the minus two. Next is the joule, which is a unit of energy. A joule is equal to a newton meter. But I just defined a newton above, so I can plug in for newton, kilogram meter per second square times meter, and that gives me kilogram meter squared per second squared. So that is an alternative way of, of writing the expression for a joule. Now I'm not going to continue to combine the derived units like I just showed you, but you can do that in the following two examples if you want to and see alternative ways of writing the expressions. The pascal is the unit of pressure. A pascal is equal to a newton per square meter or a newton times meter to the minus two. And last is the watt, which is a unit of power. A watt is equal to a joule per second or a joule times second to the minus one. Note that N, J, P, and W are all in capitals. There is a bewildering number of terms which are used to describe things like distance, velocity, force, energy, pressure, power, time, torque, volume, and mass. We're going to go through this list and eliminate most of these and then slot the ones that remain under the correct column. So that long list of terms is whittled down to a much smaller number. Just one added comment, mile and miles per hour are not SI units, but they are so familiar that I will use them uh, occasionally. All the other units are either SI units or are derived directly from them.